Today I'm going to show you how to make four simple but effective Christmas latte art designs. So for these you'll need to draw a template. So for the Christmas tree, you just need to draw two lines and then a circle on top. So here's the Christmas tree template cut out. Now let's move on to making the frost milk. You will need a cup, some milk, preferably whole milk, a whisk or an electric whisk and a microwave. First, put some milk into a beaker. Then put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. Whisk or electric whisk and whisk until frothy. Pop up the coffee with the liquid milk, then spoon the froth on. Next, put the template on and sprinkle cocoa powder all over it. Finally, use a cocktail stick to make a zigzag pattern. Add some spikes on the star, and then you have your finished product. So the first one was a success, and since I'm just showing you how to make them, I've stirred this one up so that I can reuse it for the other ones as well. And you can do this if you want, if you just want to practice. The next one is the snowflake. This one looks weird to start with, but I actually think it's the most effective out of all of them. So I've cut out the rest of the outside bits in the inner circle. Don't forget to leave a section to connect the middle bit on. So let's put the froth on. You'll need to cover the cup fully for this one. So let's put the snowflake template on and some more cocoa powder. You're also going to need to add a little blob in the middle. And then you're going to need to use your cocktail stick and go from the inside out like this. Then on these bits, go from the outside in. And here it is. You won't want to do it too long before you serve it because it all merges together. The next one's a snowman. You can make this as simple or complicated as you want, for example not doing the arms or the scarf. You'll also need to cut out the buttons and the arms so it looks like this, but you don't need to cut out the rest of the body because that will be frothed milk. You'll need two blobs of milk, one for the snowman's body and one for its head. <coughs> And again, don't forget to leave a section to join it onto the main bit. But the bow is a bit hard, so you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just do bits of ribbon. Here are the final designs. My favourite one is the Christmas tree. Because it's really simple to do, but it turned out really well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I upload weekly art news videos to get the latest in the world of YouTube art and I also upload a video which could be craft ideas like this one, how to draw tutorials or lots of other types of videos. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that. See you next week. Bye!